Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AVEO. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Monday, so that is where all those red and green line annotations are coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be done. First thing I'm going to do is a little house cleaning and go ahead and just get rid of these lines down there. Sure, those levels pertain. They're just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update, though, that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So $1.15 was that area of resistance going into today, but that was absolutely crushed. One of the near term levels of support and what I would call the ideal level, when you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest? That would be if the price could stay up there above $1.45. Don't get me wrong though, if the price falls below $1.45, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, staying up above there would certainly be a massive sign of power. Taking a step back and looking at everything from more so the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, as time goes by, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch a purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above $1.45 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about areas of resistance? As of right now, the main price congestion point seems to be right up here at the $1.80 mark. So $1.80 will be public enemy number one going into Wednesday, but really resistance levels don't matter. Why do I say they don't matter? Well, what matters is what the price has already been doing. And that is this right here, just building higher bases. So as long as the price continues to build higher bases, or if you wanna picture those as stair steps, that is the name of the game. So sit back and let the trend do its thing. And like I said, as long as the price continues to chip away with those higher lows, that's what you wanna see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.